it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for May 2018. And Virgo, how would you like to reevaluate everything you believe? Because that is what is on the agenda for May, and you're really going to be working on that from May until November of this year with Uranus moving into Taurus, activating this ninth house. This is a place and a space of faith. You guys know I talk about the ninth house first and foremost as being about faith. What do you actually have faith in? Where is your faith actually at? And faith, Virgo, has nothing to do with what's coming out of your mouth. Faith has everything to do with your actions. What kind of actions are you taking? Are they faithful actions? Do you really believe that the universe has got your back, right? Because if you don't, you're going to start to see issues in the cracks of your faith. Now, for some people, this could just be a flat out reevaluation of the beliefs that you've had in your life for a very long time. You know, beyond faith, were you brought up in a specific religion and you're starting to have some questions about that? Are you having challenges with the question of religion? Are you growing and changing in your beliefs about people who are other religions outside of yourself? This is very much so a, a philosophy, religion, faith, belief, find the truth kind of energy. So that could definitely be something that you are working on. And I really think for you, Virgos, this last couple years has been a lot about finding yourself in a different way taking some actions that are way outside of your comfort zone and that has changed the way you think feel and believe right i think you're finally in a place where you are coming into your own new conception of these things and i think we really get to see them on spot and on highlight for the next few months now some of the other things could be absolutely Maybe you've been sitting on that book for a long time or you've been sitting on this idea and it's time to publish, broadcast, get it out. It's time to start speaking to people outside of your normal circle, right? People who are foreign to you, whether that be foreign like they're just new, you've never really thought you would hang out with them, or foreign, they're, they're across an ocean somewhere, right? There's a lot of new and different eclectic energy that's gonna be coming in that's saying, Virgo, put something else out into the world, publish it, broadcast it, tell the truth, get it out in some way that's new and different and maybe even foreign to you. So it's gonna be a really exciting time, I think, looking at all of that energy to happen. Now, the other thing that we've got going on that makes me think that you're certainly gonna be doing some reevaluation and it's the perfect time for it is that we've also got the new moon happening in Taurus as well. So your own personal philosophy, you've got an opportunity here at this new moon to plant some, some seeds of intention. What is your new motto? What's your new philosophy? What's your new mantra? What's your new um, pathway and system of faith? right what i what i can tell you too is that some of these things may come out of sudden need to make a different decision sudden need to get a new philosophy things like that now for the rest of us what this new moon and energy could actually be looking at as well are things that have to do with education certification licensing things like that so you could certainly be doing things like that as well now as we get towards the second half of the month and we really get past the 16th of the month and we get to see Mars make a shift over into your sixth house, this is gonna be a great time to relook at your organization, which that's a cool thing for you, your schedule, your health, your mental health. What are you thinking about? How are you talking about yourself? What is the steady state of your mind? Is it constantly stressed? Do you have constant chatter up there? Because that's not actually how the mind is supposed to be working. There's a space of quiet up there for you, but maybe you haven't had that available to you. So service projects, things with pets, those will also come into the mix as well. And as we end the month, home and family are definitely going to be the focus with the full moon in there. So let's jump in and let me give you these dates so I can get you into knowing what's going on in May and out to enjoying it, okay? At the beginning of the month, on the 3rd, your ruling planet Mercury comes out out of its final shadow sector. So out of that final stage of the, the retrograde phasing, okay? This is important because it means that Mercury is solidly straight, solidly forward. We're getting the benefits of his orbit, thinking, communication, analyzing things, decision-making. These should be going a lot more smoothly moving forward, which is great because you need all guns blazing, all the lights on with changes that Uranus will bring in. And so you need to be able to perceive and also be willing to learn new information quite quickly absorb it and translate it into something useful like action into your life okay on the 12th Mars who's hanging out with Pluto at the beginning of the month at the top of or excuse me at the kind of side of your chart ish over in the fifth house is going to be entering into the first 
phase of its retrograde cycle. And if you don't know about that, the retrograde cycle has four phases, shadow, retrograde, direct, shadow. Okay, so it's really a time where what Mars is gonna do here on the 12th is start to slow down, pack his bags and get ready for his nap, okay? So what you may notice is that we're still gonna have the benefit of Mars. Mars is still given life and action and beauty, especially to the fifth house, creating things, speaking things. Um, children may really be something that you've got going on you're active with or in some way, shape or form. Investments are very good right now. Um, but he's gonna, his actions are gonna start to slow a little bit. So what this means for you, me, and everybody else is that you've gotta start acting a lot more purposefully, right? Express yourself purposefully. Why are you saying that? Why are you investing in your time this way? Why are you playing? Why are you not playing in your life, right? Where's the joy level for you right now, Virgo? All of these things become very purposeful with Mars starting to slow down, all right? Now on the 13th, we've got your ruling planet Mercury moving now into Taurus, into the ninth house. On the 15th, we've got a new moon happening in Taurus, of course, of course here in the ninth house. And then we, right behind that, we've got the ingress of Uranus into Taurus in the ninth house as well. So this ninth house becomes lit up big, bad, broad, the reevaluation of philosophy, life, school, travel, all of these things. Travel, ooh, Virgo, this just hit me. Some of you have been wanting to travel, maybe even thinking about living out of a trailer or something like that so you can live and travel. You may find that this comes under very big evaluation for you because this might not be the Virgo way, right? This may not be. You have to be prepared to take a journey that you never, ever thought you would go on, right? Trust the universe has got your back and don't miss your opportunity for magic because it's not what you think it should look like. Ooh, that just hit me. Okay. On the 16th, we've got Mars moving into Aquarius. This is where I say you've got a great time to, with him kind of trekking through the sixth house, look through your, your routines, your daily routines, your mental, emotional health, your physical health. Um, this could also be a time where if you do anything freelance, you've really got the help of, of Mars to get these things done, job changes, coworkers, things like that. You may find yourself being a lot more driven to have action in these areas, but you also have to remember that Mars likes conflict, so remember to be and speak purposefully, okay? Don't be argumentative just for the sake of doing it, okay? And you may feel, this is the sixth house, you may feel an argument welling in your head. Somebody's giving you new information or you're in front of something new, Virgo, or something that's challenging you and you're getting the FU buttons pushed up here. It's okay, breathe. There's another thought on the other side of that, I promise. <laughs> on the 19th, Venus moves over here into Cancer. She's very comfortable, very happy here. It's your 11th house. Fall into your friends fall into your tribe, fall into social places that have new information that can help you make informed decisions, that can help your heart feel solid about decisions that you're trying to make. Love on your friends. Everybody's changing right now, Virgo. Check on them, love on them, check on your tribe. Expand your tribe. Venus loves to bring sensual and um, diplomatic harmonizing things. So you could have some new friends coming your way. She's also gonna help to put a little harmony behind the long range goals and plans you're believing you even wanna participate in. So take a deep breath, let this energy kinda of slow you down, drop you down out of your head a little bit for a minute and have a little bit of faith, okay? Now on the 20th, the sun moves into Gemini. We start lighting up and becoming vital in your career. There's going to be career and soul level purpose moves. If you've got this corporate job, Virgo, you're doing it, right? That's very Virgo. It makes sense. You're getting that money. You're getting that status. And what you feel like is you want to be a hot dog farmer because that's really what's going to set your soul on fire so you can feed kids in wherever they are. You need to get busy starting to look at doing this really differently, but the fact is, is that your career is going to light up. You're going to want to be vital and whatever's making you not feel vital around your career, you'll have the opportunity over the next four weeks to start identifying. Uh, the 29th, that full moon happening in Sagittarius is rocking the fourth house. We've also got Mercury now moved into Gemini into the 10th house. So you're thinking, you're thinking about this purpose. 
you're thinking about this calling, you're communicating, you're making some decisions. For some of you, you will be taking a promotion or entering into some kind of new contract, but be sure it's the one that you want to be in. Because here's the other thing with the full moon here at the fourth house, some of you could be moving, but there will be a change and adjustment or an acknowledgement of needing to change the home area. And some of that home area, of course, is going to be physical real estate, things like that. Maybe you close on your house, maybe you buy a new one, maybe you redecorate, whatever it is. But some of that is also going to be giving closure to these foundational level ideas that have been driving you and you've been living on and they've been your safe place for a very long time Virgo and you're going to start to see over the next four weeks from the end of the month that you've got to shed some of that old foundation that you've been living in because there's too many cracks in it to build the solid life that you really want to be living and is right for you today. I love you guys. Make sure you jump into $3 Thursdays. We're talking about Chiron and Aries in the houses. Okay, so click in the description box down below. Get signed up for that. Astrology 103 is launched. And have an amazing, amazing May. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next month. Bye, Virgo.